Good evening, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. This is Rich again, back for your fourth and final video blog of the night for Wednesday, December 2nd, 2015, around 8.06 in the evening, Bellwick, Massachusetts. It's a like dark night and still drizzly and raining. It's about 50 degrees, which is good for this time of year. It could be in the low 30s and frosty. Some news to report. It's happy National Mutt Day. And the NFL owners are going to decide on a vote next month about a possibility of relocation teams to the Los Angeles area. The Raiders, the Chargers, and the Rams are the top three candidates to move to the second biggest city in the United States of America. It'll be the first time at NFL teams in Los Angeles since 1994. There's definitely going to be a team there within the next few years. That's about it on that. My third and final video blog subject tonight is my personality profile. Tonight's personality profile is about the winningest skull tender in Washington Capitals history, Olaf Kozig, also known as only the gold, D and Godzilla. He played um, most of his career with the Washington Capitals. Only about one year he played for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Ole was the first NHL player born in South Africa, but he grew up in Canada. And he, and he is of German descent. And he played, he lived in Canada um, his his teenage years and stuff, but he never became a Canadian citizen because he wanted to be to have German citizenship so he could play internationally for Germany. He was a he was he did goaltending when he played hockey when he was his youngster, and he played junior hockey for New Wishinster and Tri City of the WHA. The Washington Capitals drafted Cole's leg with the, the with their first pick in the first round of the 1989 entry draft, 19th overall. Um, Ole made his um, debut with the Capitals in 1990, but for six years, all of Cole's leg was moving back and forth between the minor leagues and the Washington Capitals. He played in the in the ECHL and the um, AHL. He sometimes got cups of coffee for the Washington Capitals, but they had like proven number one goaltenders when Ole the Goldie was was um, playing, like um, Don um, Boudreau and Jim Carrey and Craig Billington, among others. And by 1995, Ole was almost going to quit hockey, but he t toughed it through and stuff. And he was called up to stay with the Washington Capitals for good in 1996. And he shared goaltending duties with Bill Lanford and in that year. But in 1997... He became the starting goaltender for the Washington Capitals at the age of 27. He was kind of a late bloomer in the NHL. And he, ha and he ha had a great career. Nine times, 20 or more wins in a season. Ten seasons he had goals against average of under three. Eleven times he had a save percentage of 900. Two times he played in the All-Star game. In 2000, he was he won the Vesna Trophy for best NHL goaltender, and that was the year that he was um an all made the first team All Star postseason team. He holds numerous um Capital goaltender records and stuff, and he played in the Stanley Cup Finals in 1998, but the Capitals got swept by the by the Detroit Red Wings. He was. He also played for. He also played for gold in Germany, national team for like two Olympics and one World Cup of hockey, and um, Ole played for the Washington Capitals. Capitals into two thousand eight, 
but the Capitals did not resign him after that year because he was getting up there in age and they had a few goaltenders in the system ready to take his job. So he spent one year with the Tampa Bay Lightning, but he only played eight games until he got injured and he announced his retirement. And his career record was 303 wins, 297 losses, 63 ties, and 24 like overtime or shootout losses, a 2.71 goals against average, a 906 save percentage, and 35 shutouts. And after Ole retired, he stayed around in the Washington Capitol system as first as goaltender to coach and now player development coach. And he's in the ECHL Hall of Fame, but he's not going to go into the Hockey Hall of Fame because he basically has a 500 record and he, he only won one major, like, one Vesna trophy and stuff and he, you know, wasn't a dominating goaltender only for that one year. And 37 has not been officially retired yet by the Washington Capitals, but it's been out of circulation since he retired. But one of these days, he's probably going to get honored by them when number 37's Hanging from the rafters at the Verizon Wireless Center in Washington, D.C. That's about it on him. And that's about it on this video blogs, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. Tomorrow, you are going to get three more of them. First video blog will be about the top 10 um, sports stars ever to win the number 27. Second video blog of the day will be a, about more predictions for 2016 tomorrow will be predictions about the nba and the third and final video blog of the night will be about um personality profile hockey hall of famer mike gartner who played the majority of his career with the washington capitals keep calm everybody i'm a julie Benny guy molly rosenblatt of wcco channel four in in Minneapolis, St. Paul rocks and has nice legs. Elizabeth Hutt, so, so stunning. A cute, leggy blonde. Barbara Gibbs has the best southern accent. She's also got nice legs. And Amy Swansea's the best. And in the words of Bob Whitting, former executive director of the Boys and Girls Club of Great America, go find something to do.